Hello, welcome to the Microsoft Intune for Education Deployment Workshop. My name is Chris Kunze. I'm a program manager for the Intune for Education product group. This is module four, managing settings. In this module, I'm going to introduce managing settings with Intune for Education and more advanced settings with Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First, we're gonna go through managing settings overview. Then we'll go through a series of walkthroughs. The first one is an Intune for Education group settings walkthrough. Then there will be three Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center walkthroughs. The first will be on administrative templates. Next will be on Windows custom policies. And finally, we'll end with PowerShell scripts. Intune for Education includes settings and features you can enable or disable on different devices within your organization. Just like everything else in Intune, settings are assigned to users and devices through groups. A setting assigned to a user group will follow the user and be applied to whatever device the user signs into. A setting assigned to a device group will only be applied to devices in that group. In the last module, I showed you how to manage settings using Express Configuration. You can also manage settings from the group itself in Intune for Education. The settings in Express Configuration are a subset of the settings that can be managed from the group. In Intune for Education, we have chosen to expose the settings most commonly used by education customers. For some settings in Intune for Education, the click of one button or flip of one switch may set a handful of individual settings. More granularity, and therefore complexity, can be found in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, PowerShell, or even other methods. Our initial focus today will be on Intune for Education. With Express Configuration, you're allowed to modify categories of settings for accounts and sign-in, apps, enrollment controls, Microsoft Edge, and the user experience. When managing settings from groups, we've added settings to these categories in Express Configuration, but have also added categories such as network and connectivity, power and sleep, security, and others. Similarly, in Express Configuration settings for iOS, we have a limited number of categories and settings. These categories and the number of settings per category are expanded in the group configuration. In the following demo, I'm going to show you how to manage Windows and iOS device settings in Intune for Education. The group I'm going to configure is the All Students group. As I mentioned earlier, there are significantly more settings categories than there were in Express Configuration. I will not go into each setting in depth, but we'll discuss a few select settings. Start by going to Groups, selecting the All Students group, and then going to Windows Device Settings. Under Accounts and Sign-In, the first setting I want to set is the Preferred Azure Active Directory Tenant Domain. The Preferred Azure Active Directory Tenant Domain will allow your users to sign into Windows without typing the domain name. We also set this setting for a different group when we are using Express Configuration. Click the toggle switch to configure. Notice that the default domain is included by default. This can be set to whatever you need it to be. Next, I will block access to the administrative apps. When we configure this, there are three types of apps that can be blocked. The first is the command prompt. The next is Windows PowerShell and PowerShell ISC. And finally are the registry tools like Reg or RegEdit. This functionality is enabled through the use of AppLocker, and administrators will be allowed to bypass these restrictions. For most devices, it is important that we set up a Wi-Fi profile to be assigned. In Intune for Education, we can set up either WPA2 personal or open security types. If you need a Wi-Fi enterprise profile, you'll need to create that in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. With these devices being used so frequently throughout the day, and sometimes not recharged at night, a power strategy is normally necessary. This can be controlled by a couple of settings in Intune for Education. I will turn off the display after 15 minutes and will put the device to sleep after an hour. The next category we will set is Windows Updates. We have the ability to choose branch readiness level like semi-annual channel. We can also choose how and when the updates are installed and when the device will be rebooted. This defines how much user intervention is allowed or required for updates. Both feature and quality update deferrals can be configured. Feature updates are the updates between versions of Windows, 
for example, upgrading from 1909 to 2004. Quality updates are the updates that come with the monthly patch cycle. There are many settings here that will allow us to control the overall process and what users can see and how they can affect the process. This includes if users are allowed to block or even pause updates. Finally, we can also set the delivery optimization mode. You can use delivery optimization to reduce bandwidth consumption by sharing the work of downloading these packages among multiple devices in your deployment. This can be a significant internet bandwidth saver. In Windows 10, this is turned on by default and set to this value, but we will set it here to ensure all Windows devices have it configured properly. Finally, we will set the lock screen and background for these devices. Once completed, click the Save button at the top of the window, and all of these settings will start to apply to devices in this group. We can also modify the settings for the iOS devices included in this group. For iOS devices, we will stay very simple and only block the App Store at this time. There are many other settings that can be configured. After clicking Save, we are managing the settings on all Windows and iOS devices in this group. There are additional policies we can configure using the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. These include administrative templates, Windows Custom Policies, and Windows Update Policy. First, I'm going to show you the administrative templates. The administrative templates are not found in Intune for Education. Applying settings in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center is a bit different than in Intune for Education. In Intune for Education, you find the group and apply settings to it. In Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, you create the settings or the configuration profile and apply it to a group. To configure settings, navigate to Devices and select Configuration Profiles. Notice that the configuration profiles that we configured in Intune for Education also show up here. To create this configuration profile, we must select the Windows 10 and Later platform and Administrative Templates profile. Administrative templates are very similar to Group Policy in Active Directory. One of the great features of administrative templates over group policy is the ability to search. We will configure the OneDrive known folder move for this demo. Two primary advantages of moving or redirecting Windows known folders such as desktop, documents, pictures, screenshots, and camera roll to Microsoft OneDrive for the users in your domain. First, your users can continue to use the folders they're familiar with. They don't have to change their daily work habits to save files to OneDrive. Second, saving files to OneDrive backs up your users' data in the cloud and gives them access to their files from any device. To configure this, we will go to Computer Configuration and select OneDrive. The OneDrive settings are now displayed and we will choose the ones that we want to set and set them. Notice the Tri-State settings much like Group Policy. Once we have set the settings, we will bypass scope tags and go straight to Assignments. Select the All Teachers group and click Next. Finally, we have the opportunity to review these settings and create the policy. It will now be assigned to all members of the All Teachers group. Occasionally, there will be settings that can be configured in Windows that do not appear in the Intune portal. Many of these settings are available to set using a Configuration Service Provider, or CSP. A configuration service provider is an interface to read, set, modify, or delete configuration settings on the device. These settings map to registry keys or files. I will now walk through the setup of a custom configuration profile. To start this process, I will go to Devices, Windows Devices, and Configuration Profiles. From the Configuration Profiles tab, create a profile. Again, select the Windows 10 and later platform and this time, for Profile, select Custom. We're going to create a profile that renames the device. A custom configuration profile is a collection of one or more OMA URI settings. These settings are defined within the configuration service provider. We need to give the setting a name. I like to name it to match the last value in the OMA URI string. The OMA URI can be built from information defined in the CSP. The CSP to rename the devices with a long name, which is now supported in 2004, is Dev Detail. This is fairly easily found with an internet search. 
I need to build the OMA URI from the CSP page, but only part of the information is available here. I will go up on this page to find the correct scope for this setting. Collect this information and paste it back in the portal. The final information I need is the data type and value of data. The OMA URI setting is configured, so click Add. I could add additional OMA URI settings in this profile if I would like, but I'm going to continue with just this one. The rest of the profile is configured as before. Since the setting only applies to Windows 10 devices 2004 or later, I could add an applicability rule. Applicability rules will only apply settings to a particular OS type or version. Finally, there may be settings that we have to set that cannot be configured in the GUI or with a custom policy. These likely can be configured with a PowerShell script. An example of this is the ability to place icons on the desktop. To do this, we will create a PowerShell profile and upload a script that will add one or more icons to the desktop. The script can be run with logged on user credentials or in the system context. We will assign the script to a group and complete the profile creation. It is good to note here that a PowerShell script will only run once per user. Many of the common OS settings are available in the GUI, either Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center or Intune for Education. The list of settings available in the GUI is growing every month. For Windows, if not available in the GUI, you can use custom profiles with OMA URI settings or PowerShell to manage your devices. To recap, in this module we started by providing an overview of managing settings in Intune for Education. We continued by demoing this functionality. Then, we demoed some additional policy types in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, including administrative templates, custom policies, and finally, PowerShell scripts. There are links to additional information on this slide. The next module is Module 5, Managing Applications.